When I was about six or seven years old, I went to the uh, Royal Ontario Museum, the Rome, and they had a display about uh, medieval arms and armor, and they had a chance for kids to try on reproductions of uh, medieval chainmail and hold medieval swords. I just remember thinking it was the coolest thing in the world because uh, I could try on knight's armor and holy sword, and I still have a picture of me uh, standing there holding a broadsword with uh, chainmail on, with a giant smile on my face, and I thought it was just so great to actually touch stuff and engage with uh, the exhibits in, in that way as a six-year-old. So that's a really good memory I have of the museum. Uh, I do have one particular. They love me over there. Uh, I do have one particularly positive memory. Um, my family went to the fortress of Louisburg or Louisburg uh, when I was young, and upon going into the, the gate there, we were stopped by some French soldiers, and they uh, we, we got oh hello there. How do you do? This is my friend. We get along just great. Uh, so my friend, or my uh, my brother and I, yes, so you have me. Uh, my brother and I were uh, at the fortress of Lewisburg, and what happened was um, the soldiers stopped us. They were French soldiers, and they said to my brother. Uh, uh, they said to us, uh, would you like a picture taken? We said, yes, can we get our pictures taken with you? And uh, they said, one of you can hold a gun. And they said, but not this one, over here. Um, because he's wearing red. And the red, of course, was the color of the British. And uh, so my brother was not allowed to hold the gun. Uh, but I was, and so I got to hold the gun. And it was quite a positive experience. Uh, because first of all, I learned something. Uh, as a child, I, I obviously did not know that the British color was red. Um, and it's stuck with me uh, for all that time. It's a good uh, 10 or 11 years ago that that happened. So. I can't really say I remember where it was. I just remember the house was white, but it wasn't Fort Edmonton Park because I hadn't been. It was somewhere in Edmonton, and we were making ice cream, and I was doing it, and, you know, I thought I was doing, like, an average job, and then the woman was like, uh, that's very good, sir. And I remember she called me sir, and I was just like, mmm, I'm a grown-up. Like, and I just really liked being respected. And it was really nice just not being considered a kid. Like, I felt like I was an adult, and I was like, yeah, I'm doing something good. I'm making ice cream, and I'm a grown-up. It was really, it was really inspiring, you know, just being treated like an equal as opposed to a baby. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was in kindergarten. We took a field trip to the Space and Science Center to learn about the constellations. And, well, they brought us into this room, where it's a circular room, and it felt as if our seats were spinning round and round to visit the different constellations. And, well, I got really scared, and I told my teacher that I was sick. And I spent the rest of the field trip in the bathroom because I was scared. I came to Fort Edmonton Park as a young child, and I went to Lauder's Bakery, I believe, to uh, get a cookie. I think my aunt may have given me uh, some money to buy a cookie. And I went in there, and I said, could I please have that cookie over there? And uh, the lady at Lauder's Bakery said, a young boy should know that it is rude to point. And I think that I didn't quite understand the game, um, and felt very embarrassed and uh, like I was in trouble and um, uh, overall felt very very sad and it did not enhance my experience in any way. I think that the advice is to just let the child lead the conversation, use lots of questions and try to understand exactly what he himself is interested in. And learn that the importance of holding a dialogue with children um, 
And being on their level is what's most important. There's, what they want to understand is a lot simpler than what an adult wants to understand. But often if an adult is with a child, they're willing to sort of compromise that and just simply learn what the child's willing to learn. Because to them, to take them to a historical park, it's them that they want to have the learning experience mostly for, and less themselves. I like to sort of start with um, sort of a compliment to them if they have like a, a nice hat or something. That's how I'll start talking to them and say, oh, what a nice hat you have on there. And then they'll start to chit chat with you and you can say, well, what do you think about this house? Uh, what sorts of things are different here from what you have at home? And in that way you're relating to them and getting them to, to think about things that uh, might be different here. And perhaps it is important uh, when interpreting to children to make sure uh, that you are not uh, coming across as someone who is scolding them uh, and that they understand uh, that it is a game um, or that if they, or at least yes, that they understand that it's a game um, and if they, if they don't, uh, that you, you let them know that it's a game so that they can get uh, the, the fullest uh, experience uh, out, of, out of the park instead of just being scared of you. Don't be afraid to um, make modern day um, analogies to kids because a lot of times um, the hi history and the past are so far away that it's really difficult for them to understand. So don't be afraid to, you know, try and um, explain a party line like a ringtone. Don't be afraid to get down on their level and kind of crouch down and, and do things um, at a kid level and explain things the way a kid would understand them because they'll take that away they'll take that away and they'll remember that, you know, till they're older and then start interpreting in their own Children are a lot smarter than you think. And it, it helps to get down to their level and you don't have to treat them like they're, they're babies because they are a lot smarter than, they think, than you think. And they do enjoy being here, even if they're running around screaming, they do enjoy it. And they take away a lot from being here. Thank <laughs> you.